Well, hey, the next SmackDown, it's August 12, 2004. You're in Detroit, and uh, Meltzer says, Kurt Angle barged into Teddy Long's office, demanded he get the money for his stolen goods. Teddy said the money went to charity, as if that made Guerrero stealing okay. Kurt said he doesn't care. He wants his money back. <laughs> Teddy's going to give him an opportunity to go out to the ring and let Kurt tell the people how he feels. Kurt says he will, as long as he can be promised, he won't be attacked from behind. Teddy promises that this will be the case and tells him to be a man and say what's on his mind. Dude, you guys had such good chemistry, you and uh, and Teddy. That's hard to find be between two people, isn't it? Well, you know, it, it depends. I mean, Teddy had good chemistry with everybody. You know, he just had this way of relating to people. You know, he, everything was, you know, holla player, you know, just <laughs> he, he was just really fun to work with and smooth easy to talk to. And he yeah. was smooth. That's exactly what I was trying to explain. He was definitely really smooth. Yeah. And uh, so Meltzer goes on, says Teddy introduces us to Angle, who's coming out to talk about his match with Eddie at SummerSlam. But before Kurt can get one word out, Viva La Raza blares through the arena and Eddie drives out to his music. Eddie and Kurt stare holes through each other until Eddie breaks the ice. Eddie says Kurt doesn't have his wheelchair, GM ship, or Luther Reigns to hide behind. So if he has something to say, say it to his face. Kurt says he doesn't hide from anything and that Eddie doesn't know what it's like to lose something he loves. We're going to stop right here, Kurt. This is really what this program should have been the whole time, right? It was more serious. It was more intense. Yes, but you're when you have Eddie Guerrero and you're working with him, you're going to have to go through some comedy. Okay. And it, that's just how it is. That's Eddie always had some form of entertainment in every one of his storylines. But uh, the way we went home... You know, the last couple of weeks was really serious. So we drove it home the, the right way. Meltzer goes on and says, uh, Eddie says, like how Kurt screwed him out of his title. Kurt accuses Eddie of calling the kettle black. Kurt then talks about how Eddie has cheated and stolen from and against him. Kurt takes it as a compliment because deep down inside, Eddie knows he has to cheat to beat him. Eddie says he'll do whatever it takes to win. Eddie said maybe he's right. Maybe he can't beat him without cheating. But what if he can? And he says, it's the question that stirs both of their souls. Oh, we're getting deep now. <laughs> Eddie believes this is the reason Kurt has been hiding behind his injury and GM ship. Because Kurt doesn't know if he can beat Eddie. Here's the meat of the story. He doesn't know if he's better than Eddie either. Kurt, you're really doubting yourself here. Teddy grabs the microphone and says he can't wait either. But he says that in the spirit of the summer games, he wants to see a handshake. If they're man enough, Eddie extends his hand and Kurt takes it as they go face to face. Mono e mono. Uh, man, the two of you together, though, Kurt, are money. You guys could have had, I mean, listen, you could have been the main event even without the title, I feel like, at this point. At SummerSlam? Yeah. Uh, I honestly believe we could have been, but I think if Eddie would have had the title at this point in time, we definitely would have main event at SummerSlam. It's just unfortunate. I'm sure they had a different title match that they won the main event there. Do you wish that you could have had that program if you weren't hurt and Eddie was able to be the main event, main eventer that he wanted to be? Oh God, Eddie and I would have tore it up. Well, you know, I was hurt, you know, five months. So yeah. even yeah. though we kept the program going, you know, you didn't see any wrestling during those five month period, but um, I would have, Eddie and I would have probably had one of the best storylines and best, uh, three matches in a row, you know, you got the one, you win one, the other guy wins the other, and then you the have rubber match. the rubber match. Yeah. I think we would have had the, one of the best programs in the history of the company. Really? I do. I do believe that. 